Hello Battletech fans, welcome back to another Battletech Heavy Metal mech review. Today we take on the Clan Retrofit Archer 2R. So, before we begin, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate all those subscribers and all the likes. It really does uh, really does keep me going, it really keeps me uh, uh, wanting to do this a lot more. So thank you very much for doing that. I really appreciate it. So getting into the Archer 2R, so I'm a big SRM user and I was honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I was kind of looking forward to maybe seeing the Dervish um, get released in this DLC, but unfortunately um, it didn't show up, but that's okay, that's okay. The Archer 2R will be um, just, as, just as good or better. I think it's going to be extremely good. Uh, so it comes with uh, let's see here. It comes with two LRM 20s and four medium lasers. Now, that's a pretty strong little build there. And if you wanted to remove those LRM 20s for SRMs, like, you know, maybe, you know, four SRM 6s, I mean, this thing is going to be a beast. And why? Because one of his quirks is SRM stability damage increase. Let's think about that. Is that going to be overpowered? You know, I have a lot of faith in HBS, but is that going to be overpowered? I, I have a feeling it's going to be very overpowered. And um, it's definitely going to be one of those uh, mechs that um, could be uh, meta in the mid game. So you might want to pick that mech up. Or if you see it on the field, destroy it immediately because it's going to be a pain in your neck as well as the enemies if you have one. And the other quirk, it has two of them. The other quirk is LRM spread reduction. So it has more of a pinpoint damage. So this thing is going to have maybe good called shots with LRMs. So let's think about that. <laughs> this thing is going to be uh, even more deadly. So this, this mech is definitely going to be one of the heavy mechs you, you want to pick up. Um in the DLC. You want to play this mech. Um, and it's, and I know there's some people who, who do the, do the whole stability, uh, game where they injure the pilot and they get three injuries and the pilot's dead. And then you can salvage all three parts, right? I know a lot of people play that game. It's not, my, that's not how I play the game, but I mean, I'm not going to criticize anybody who plays that way. Uh, but this mech is going to be the mech for you is all I'm trying to say. So the Archer is going to be that mech for you guys. So if, if that's how you play, this mech is going to be your kind of mech. So how is this going to affect the late game? So late game, this mech might be just as good with the stability damage and its focus, its focus potential. Um, it might be more of a glass cannon, but uh, it definitely has a, a like a strong potential throughout the entirety of your career mode. So it's, like I said, it's going to be one of the mechs that I feel like is going to be a, a meta mech where you're going to want that mech no matter what. That, again, this is all opinion based and things are subject to change, but it's one of those mechs that I feel like is going to like break the game. <laughs> it's going to break the game for sure. And the quirks so they, you know, the HBS is releasing for all these mechs could very well break the game and you know archer might be a small part in that but i just feel like srm stability damage increase is insane i i am sorry but like if you have plus two stab damage at the, what, what's the highest is, is it plus four is it plus four the highest uh, on that or plus 30 or 20 I, i'm trying to do this off the cuff so um it, in any regard, it, it's going to really knock mechs over very quickly. It's going to make them unstable. It's going to force them to uh, force the enemy to make the move, force the AI to make the move first on that that, that unstable mech. Like this, the strategy possibilities with this is almost limitless, in my opinion. It, it's going to be one of those mechs that uh, you're you're going to want to get your hands on right away as soon as possible. So. With that being said, out of the mid game, so when you get this mech, I think it's going to be a high. Um, so with, 
I, I would say it's going to be up there out of 10. I would say an 8.5. So again, this is my opinion. Um, I think out of 10, uh, 8.5, you want to get the Archer um, out of all the heavy mechs that are out there. And I know the Grasshopper ranks high for me uh, because, you know, I, if you if you don't know my background, I play a lot of Iron Man, um, the hardest difficulty that you could possibly have. Uh, so I find the Grasshopper to be one of those uh, meta mechs that you want to have. It has great maneuverability, great damage potential. I feel like the Archer is going to be right up there. It's going to be top for sure. Um, I don't see any other heavy mechs kind of having that kind of potential. Um, but, you know, you know, maybe the Marauder um, might be up there as well, I would say. But we'll talk we'll talk about that another day. Um, but yes, the Archer, it's a it's really good in my book. So uh, I say mid game, it's, it's, it's going to be an upper upper eight. And then late game, it might be, you know, in the six out of, you know, six out of ten, in my opinion. So it's still going to have uh, still be effective, but more of a glass cannon. So. Uh, what else do we want to talk about with the archer here? Hmm, let's see here. The clan tech. So maybe... So potentially it might have a lot more tonnage to play with. If it's, um, you know, it's kind of clan tech. So there, there might be... The, again, I'm just... This is all opinion based. I'm trying to make guesses. I'm not, I'm not trying to look at Sarna a lot. So uh, bear that in mind, okay? So I'm, I'm trying to do this off the cuff, off my memory. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it, it might have a little bit more tonnage than normal uh, than the normal Archer 2S. So, um, so yeah, so it's definitely going to be the probably one of the best heavies in the game. So <laughs> definitely keep that in the back of your mind. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my Archer review. Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments below what you would do with the Archer 2R. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next mech review.